Looking to cook that perfect beef roast on that rotisserie? Then this is a video for you. Now don't forget everything used in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get those barbecue products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be cooking the perfect beef roast on the Weber rotisserie. Now you can do this on the Weber kettle, you can do it on the Weber Genesis, and you can do it on the Weber Q, as I'm doing today. Now there's a few simple ingredients for this. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. So first up, if you're using the Weber Q, you want a convection tray and a trivet because you're gonna set it up for that indirect medium heat. If you wanna add some smoke, you can, but trust me, with this recipe, you won't need to add extra smoke. I'll put a video at the end of this linking to how to make your own smoker box or smoker packet. Next up, we're gonna need a foil tray. Now this is for your vegetables. Trust me, once those juices are flowing from that rotisserie and are all over those vegetables, you'll never look back. And finally, your Weber rotisserie. So let's get this Weber lit, and then we'll jump in and check out the ingredients. Today we're gonna to be using a one and a half kilo top side beef roast. We're just gonna run two simple seasonings on this. Now these are pre-made seasonings to make life easier, and if you wasn't aware, Weber make their own type of seasonings, and this barbecue seasoning is fantastic. The next seasoning we're gonna be using, and there will be links down below to these, is the Weber Greek seasoning. What we're gonna do is just put a binder on this to begin with. We're gonna just coat this with some Worcester sauce. Next, we're gonna coat that all over with our Weber barbecue seasoning. Now we're just going to feed our rotisserie through, try and get it as close to the centre as you can. Put the other side on the opposite way. And then just lock that off. So we've got our vegetables we prepared the night before. So these are just in a Ziploc bag, coated with some olive oil and seasoned with some salt and pepper. You can do this with the potatoes, carrots and pumpkin, any vegetables of your choice. Then we get our foil tray and we're just going to tip those in. And give those a slight coat of our great seasoning. Now it's time to get it all on the queue. So our roast is in, we're gonna leave that in for around two hours, being a one and a half kilo roast, and we're gonna leave that on 160 degrees Celsius. I'll put on the screen what that is in Fahrenheit, and we'll be checking that at around the two hour mark. So our roast just come off, it hit the 60 degree mark. We're gonna leave that to rest for around 15 to 20 minutes, just till it rises to around 64 degrees Celsius. And then we'll carve it up and give it a bit of a taste test. Don't forget everything you use in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get those barbecue products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Don't enjoy that quick recipe. And as you can see with that Weber flavoring, that roast came out absolutely superb. It had some fantastic bark on there. It stayed really moist because we're cooking at such a low and slow temperature. So if you'd like a really moist and tender roast, this is the best way to do it on that Weber rotisserie. Now don't forget there will be links in the description down below to those Weber rubs and seasonings, and in my opinion, they're worth trying out. 
Now I did forget to show the vegetables, but those potatoes came out superb because you got all the juices from that roast dripping over those roast potatoes. The flavors are just enhanced really, really well and they come out really, really crispy. If you do not have a baby queue, make sure you just put those roasters in straight away because you couldn't suck a low temperature. Those roasters will come out at the same time as your roast. Now, if you try the Weber seasonings, let me know how you get on. Let me know which one's your favorite. Mine has to be the Greek out of all. The barbecue is fantastic for the roasts, but I find the Greek is awesome for chicken and it's fantastic for those vegetables. Now, for those who haven't got a smoker box, then check out this video. And for those who want to cook the perfect crispy duck, check out this video. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.